What's up, y'all? This is the second video of the week. Um, I'm probably gonna drop this uh, the same day as I dropped the first video. I'm kind of I'm kind of behind on my video schedule. Who cares? But I also feel like explaining football. I also feel like really getting this off my chest because. Um, in case y'all haven't watched the first video, I just want to re-explain that this is new Vach. The new Vach that doesn't argue, debate, go back and forth, fuss, get hoarse, and scream. Um, I feel like it's it's pointless up to this point because um, people have their opinion and they're so caught up in their opinion that regardless of what you show them, uh, they'll never change it. They'll they'll never change their um their preconceived notion about something. And I think that's that's kind of useless. I think that's a waste of time on my part when I could be putting that energy into something else or energy into somebody that actually wants to learn or or change their opinion. Um on my last video you can go look in the in the um comment section, right? Like it was basically about uh motion and running the ball, right? Like why do we run the ball so much? I explained why we ran the ball so much you can see people in that chat box talking about well that's not a good reason to run the ball well as have have had had coaching football have had to coach football in my life that was always a a good reason to run the ball you see five five or six man boxes that was a fantastic time to run the football people say that kellen did linehan things well running the ball in eight man boxes would probably be a linehan thing to do but running it in a six man box that's kind of protocol. That's an obligatory play. And if you can't, um, if you can't positively run the football in a six man box, that's not a coaching issue. That is your offensive line is not executing the blocks up front issue. So I'm not fussing. But another thing that people were coming at me about was the, uh, the lack of deep passing. Let me actually go back a little bit because there's that imaginary motion that people said, uh, didn't exist. So I'm just going to keep that, keep that theme going just like I did in my last video. Um, why weren't we throwing the ball deep? Why weren't we deep passing? Well, if if you knew, if you knew anything about football, you run cover two to prevent deep passing. Okay, that's why teams run run cover two to to not only like defend the deep and outsides for the most part, but you, to to defend deep passing. And if you look, the Saints only rushed three to four people, and that was that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to get pressure with three or four guys so they could just drop everybody else the hell back. You can't have a lot of deep success um, going against fronts like this. And the Saints did this all game. Now, why did they do this all game? Well, a couple reasons. We couldn't establish the run. If we establish the run, if they give us this box here, let me, let's go cartel view. Let's go. Okay, cool. You see this? See this box right here? This box right here? This is a fantastic football box to run into, right? But it's still covered too. But it's still cover two on the top. How do you stop cover two? You run the ball effectively and make one of these guys get in the box. One of these guys right here to get in the box. So we can have more room to operate on the backfield. Okay. But the Cowboys didn't earn that. We didn't earn um we didn't earn deep passing. So we threw deep some, but we didn't throw deep as much as y'all wanted us to throw deep because you can't really throw deep in a cover two like that. I have more examples. Here's another example, right? Take a look at this play. Um, you're going to see some uh, some pre-snap motion that people say we didn't run, and you're going to see some play action that people say we didn't run. People uh, will, uh, will, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll ask, they'll say, Vach, why didn't we run play action? Well, shit, we couldn't establish the run. Why would you fake the run if we can't establish the run anyway? Even with play action, right, it was still covered too, and these guys still bailed out at the end of this thing, and the Saints still only rushed four guys right so if that's the case who we throwing to what's the move here what's the vibes if y'all don't mind me asking you know what i mean everything just wasn't available now if we would have run the ball a little better this thing would it, it would have looked different but we were not able to but let's keep watching so here we go. Uh, we have another situation. The Saints are giving us this look right now. Don't worry. They won't stay there. Ezekiel Elliott is going to run some pre-snap motion that totally didn't exist, according to some Cowboy fans in this game. Okay? We froze him first. We did a lot of that in the first three weeks. Uh, Zeke is going to move to the outside. We're going to um, to see this thing turn into the cover two that we all expected to be. Right? But today we're talking about drive killers. Okay? We're talking about, which the Saints cover this thing up pretty nicely, by the way. But we're talking about drive killers. We're talking about um things that we do when we when we move down the field things that we can't have uh in terms of execution you know people want to say hey Vach, you can't just keep saying player execution if you look at the comments in my last video they'll you'll see it you'll see it when they when, when they say Vach, you can't always blame player execution what coaching 
What could Jason Garrett, what could Bill Belichick do to stop Jason Witten from doing that right there? What could they do? What could they do? Somebody let me know because I, I, maybe I've been led astray my whole life. Maybe I've been led astray. I don't know. Um, so when we talk about cover two and deep passes, there are some things you can do versus versus uh, cover two. If you hang around in the in the pocket long enough, you can find an open man. And Dak Prescott being a gangster, he he was able to do that throughout the game to where they gave us cover two and the offensive line did a did a solid job of blocking up front. Dak would keep his patience and find um and find different guys to pass the ball to. Um if you take a look at it from the cartel view, it's actually a, a pretty good throw that he uh that he fit into Jason Witten. But when we're limited on on things that we can do in terms of moving downfield when we're limited on those things we got to switch it up and we couldn't switch it up because we couldn't get the run going you see what i'm saying and we were moving the ball man it was a it was a a, a couple times a couple times in the game where we uh where we got to midfield but the the drive came to an end because of a turnover or because something unfortunate happens but hey i don't know maybe it's maybe it's coaching like they say i don't know uh, maybe it's coaching. Maybe it's because we're not running pre-snap motion. Maybe it's because we're not. Um, I don't know. I don't know what 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 the uh, what the peanut gallery says it is. But let's keep watching. Let's take a look at this play. I'm gonna go ahead and warn you. Uh, in case you didn't know, the Saints are gonna drop seven men in the box again. Uh, you worried about your pre-snap movement? There's your pre-snap movement that apparently didn't exist. Let's run the ball and see how the Saints did here. They're gonna rush four and they're gonna drop seven. This is the Blake Jarwin play. This is like third and eight or something like that. Let me tell you why this is a drive killer, right? Because Blake Jarwin and and Jason Witten is good at this, but Blake Jarwin got to understand that if we're going to run a play to the sticks, which is to the first down line, I kind of want you to get a little more depth on that. Blake Jarwin got till right about the first down line and then came back. So when you catch the ball, you're in front of the first down line. Now, Blake's still a young player and he's going to learn this, but what Blake's got to do is Blake's got to learn to get this thing by up here, which is like two extra steps, and then kind of bring that thing back. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. How about this though? The fourth and two. We just talked about how this wouldn't even be a thing if Blake Jarwin, J Blake Jarwin runs with a little bit more, more depth. <clears throat> um, I mean, but 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 that's okay. But it's just that conventional offense. Um, you just don't want to be in fourth down situations. But whatever. Um, this is the the Zeke fumble or whatnot. And listen, in my opinion, which doesn't really matter, but in my opinion. I never want to blame referees, man. I never want to blame referees. I I always want to take accountability as a as a as a player, you know. And I don't think Zeke fumbled. I, you know, Zeke's elbow was down, but the fact that the ball came out made this a discussion. The fact that the ball came out it 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 made the it made the officials go back and look at it. You know what I mean? And if we executed a little better in terms of holding on to the football in general, maybe it wouldn't be a thing, but. Let's run the play and look at it. I mean, we know the result, but we still just want to run the play and look at it. Um, so here's the pre-snap motion that people said that we didn't have. Okay, cool. It's been a lot of that. I, I thought we didn't have pre-snap motion, whatever. Uh, Zeke actually converts the first down, and, you know, we just get the fumble on the back end. Unfortunately, uh, it was a lot of bang-bang plays up in here, a lot of uh, – just a lot of jumbled bodies, but that's typically what these uh, what these short yardage plays are, um, just a bunch of jumbled bodies in there. But we converted the first down, but – Execute, 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 execute. Also on my post game show, and I really don't like to make uh to make proclamations until I've watched the film. Uh for for reasons like this, but um when I had watched the game the first time, I thought that Randall Cobb dropped the ball in the back of the end zone. Um he kinda he kinda was in sort of quasi range, but it was uh but it was overthrown by Dak. Uh so let me just like uh let me just uh clear that up a little bit. Cobb was open and I think he did get a hand on it. I could be wrong there. I think he did get a hand on it, but uh, he couldn't. He 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 couldn't bring it in because it was just a bit too far for him. So um, Dak had to scramble out, and yeah, that was too far. Yep, too far, too far for Kyle to make a play. So yeah, so 
if if anything, you know, Dak got to kind of bring that uh, bring that ball down a little bit, and we'll have some work in terms of the offensive line. I mean, the blocking was fine. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four. Yeah, that's 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 some that's that's pretty good. That's that's solid. Um, but the only reason this thing even turned into a thing, the only reason Dak held the ball so long, first of all, look at this. We got two high safeties, right? Then watch how everybody else just bails out. Like, where the hell are we gonna throw the ball at? Like, where else are we gonna throw the ball? You know what I'm saying? Everybody was was covered up pretty well. So if if we gotta learn any if we gotta learn like in, in terms of takeaways or how to how to deal with a with a defense playing this, like we got to find a way to keep teams from playing cover two against us. I ain't want to hold y'all too long, man. I just uh, I'm really in the mood to discuss this, man. Um, I, like I said, I'm not arguing anymore. I'm not arguing, not fussing, not going back and forth with with uh, with uh, people anymore. That that could be a bit exhausting. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, people don't don't listen for the most part, but. I do feel like explaining this. I do I do find joy in talking to people that want to to talk football constructively. You know what I'm saying? I do enjoy that. Um and you know, people people want to know what happened. People don't have the access to the to the uh coach's film, you know what I'm saying? I got it. So let's talk about let's talk about what's uh what's going on with the culture films. We could do that, but I just really wanted to to touch on the point because people were asking about pre snap motion, they were asking why we ran the ball so much, they were asking why weren't we throwing the ball deep. Um and they were asking about, you know, why we couldn't score, why we couldn't finish. Well, drive killers man drive killers we had the box to run the uh to um to run the ball and they played cover two and there was a lot of pre-snap motion so <laughs> whatever man y'all hold it down for the doski woski bro uh we'll do a robert quinn d law video later on this week peace my cable bill was way too high i reached out to affordable sticks.com they sent me a fire stick plug that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through ChannelsForCheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.